Alan Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of The Closet number three. This is the final issue of this story. And oh boy, let me tell you, if you were waiting for uh, things to neatly resolve, you are in for quite a ride. Uh, so let's take a look at the creative team before we get into the book. Uh, this book is written by James Tinian IV with art by Gavin Fullerton, colors by Chris O'Halloran, and letters by Tom Napolitano. Uh, yeah, this book, man, what a ride it's been. Uh, there's not a lot of books that I can say they really make me feel uneasy and scare me while I'm reading them. The Closet was definitely one of those uh, in issue one and two. And then this one has just some stuff that'll leave you thinking like, what the fuck? Uh, so quick synopsis. Uh, the tale of existential familial horror finally concludes. The cross-country move continues to torment both father and son who just wanted to leave past hauntings behind them, might they still find an escape on the West Coast? Uh, so, yeah, it's interesting. Um, I hadn't really noticed the parallel between, you know, the grief that the dad is going through, where it kind of parallels, like, his son and his suffering because of this thing that appears to be haunting him in, from the closet. So let's take a look at some art, because I think Fullerton just does a fantastic job here uh, with, with a hollering on these visuals. Uh, the book is so dark. Everything mostly happens at night because they're driving a lot. Uh, so we really don't only get to see them while they're, uh, you know, waiting out the next uh, rest stop or whatever the case may be. Uh, and the dad always just kind of talks to these random people. But I, throughout reading this book, I always wondered if those people that he talks to are real or not. I think his friend from the last issue was definitely real. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, the first, there's no indication for me to not think that they're real, but you never know with these type of stories. So, uh, and yeah, we just we have a conversation. That's what this book is. It's mostly the anticipation of like what's going to happen next. When is it coming? And then we do have the panels here. I love here. We see the, the young. Uh, I forget the name of the, the little kid uh, who's adorable. Uh, Fullerton. Uh, definitely make sure that we feel bad for this young child uh, and his dad as he looks through stuff in his closet. So I think a lot of this stuff is maybe hit the dad's baggage uh, being dumped on his kid, but also uh, it, it's very hard to determine, right? Like whether the, there's an actual monster or not. But I love these panels here of zooming in to the kid's face. He finally opens his eyes and oh, great stuff. Just like I said, Really, really uneasy. It makes me real uneasy. And um, I just hope that in the end, you guys all enjoyed this story as much as I did. I love scary stories. I listen to scary podcasts. I check out the Razor Blade magazine that James Tinian is doing as well. So a lot of fun stuff there. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone.